drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go! Paul Casey, match number three gets going here. 15 seconds pre-programmed, and it's a frenzy from the Blue Alliance of a scoring clinic to start us off. All three robots picking up their taxi bonuses. Just a few points, but they are often the difference here in these autonomous periods. Blue Alliance Tower mostly relying on cargo. 34-point autonomous cycle to get us going. Drivers now take the controls. 34-10, your live score. Seven pieces of cargo already in the top of that center hub for the Blue Alliance. They did pick up what is called a quintet during the autonomous period there. That's five pieces of cargo scored anywhere in that center hub. That does reduce the threshold they need for the bonus rank point from 18 pieces of cargo down, or from 20 rather, to 18. They are already, well, once it all settles at that threshold here, 18 pieces of cargo, that's already a rank point for your Blue Alliance. And I haven't even talked about any teams yet. 62 to 17 with a minute and a half left to play, our Red Alliance pulling ahead. We'll see right in front of me here, a relatively rookie team. It's their first in-person season, wired up out of Andover, Minnesota, scooping up cargo right in the center top of the field here. Just one piece, they'll line up perhaps for a field goal back from the launch pad. Nope, they drop that and they will reset the cycle. Speaking of cycles, the Blue Alliance starting to pick up some steam. Three pieces of cargo scored in the top hub. That's worth six points for that whole cycle. Let's make it eight just for good measure. At the last minute there, the Gators out of Greenbush, Minnesota, scooping a few more up as well. And on and on it goes. From Ra Anana, Israel, we have Steampunk here zooming around. Very well-oiled machine. They scoop up two pieces of cargo, launch them into the top of the hub, zoom around the top of the field, finding the holes in the defense and collecting yet more cargo. It's kind of scattered everywhere around the field and they have absolutely no problems finding it. Their alliance partners out of Ambler, Pennsylvania, Miss Daisy also doing their jobs here towards the alliance score. Already a whopping 126 points showing on the board out of 54 pieces of cargo. We'll see how this continues as our match goes on. Both alliances making their way back toward the hangar zones. Wired up on the high rung, four red. That's 10 points if they can stay there through the remainder of the match. Wolfpack out of South Bend, Indiana is moving up as well. They were on the middle rung for six, now the high rung for 10. Can we get the traversal? Three seconds to figure it out. Two, one, that is it. Buzzer beater, last piece of cargo for two more points to the Blue Alliance cycle. Coming at you from the Gators. For qualification match number three, 173 points on the Blue Alliance there to the Red Alliance's 56. Four rank points towards the average for each of those Blue Alliance teams. Two of those come from winning the match, one of them from getting the at least eight.